We're coming closer to our study of Paul's letter to the Church of Galatia here in Bramadren, which is a group of churches on the northern edge of the Lean Peninsula, which is currently the area celebrating the Eisteddfod uh, for 2023. Um, I wonder how you'd read uh, a letter. What a strange question. I mean, uh, we read uh, Paul's letters uh, uh, week by week in churches, Uh, all around the world, and we are really eavesdropping on somebody else's conversation. Uh, Paul writes to a group of churches who are quite fragile and scattered and discovering discovering what it meant to follow Jesus where they were. That's something of what our hope will come out of our study. I would encourage you if possible, to read the letters to the Church of Galatia as a whole. It's a letter. That's how we read any letter, isn't it? Uh, From beginning to end, sometimes rereading bits, sometimes going over it again. So read it, or maybe read it in different translations. Yes, if you can uh, speak Welsh as well as English, read it in both uh, languages. But if not, in uh, different translations. And... uh, so that you can compare and contrast. Then look for themes. Look for clues as to why Paul is writing. It's clearly a very urgent letter. He is quite strident, isn't he? Uh, in verse 6 of chapter 1, acknowledging that there was no uh, uh, verse 6 of chapter 1 when it was written, uh, Paul writes, I'm astonished. I'm astonished. I'm hacked off, really, that you're giving up on the gospel that was preached to you. It's a letter for our times. So read it in one sitting, read different translations, look for clues. And remember Paul was Jewish. Remember he wrote in a particular way. And remember that Paul was a pastor. He longs that these people will respond. And read it finally, prayerfully. And in all that, ask God that he would open the scripture to you, that you might be transformed. And pray for me that I will be transformed too. Diochavarian.